before I start this video, I want to make a little disclaimer on this one. <clears throat> um, I'm not telling you to do any of this stuff. Uh, if you do do it and you wreck your gun, it's completely on you. Uh, if you have this particular issue with your gun, you should call the manufacturer and let them sort it out. <clears throat> but also, all these guns have been safety checked off camera. Alright, now that that's through. When I did the unboxing on, on both of these guns, uh, everything seemed fine. Everything seemed like it worked fine. Um, and so that night or the next night I had got, uh, I, went, I went into the house and I wanted to put these, this wood uh, stock set on. It's beautiful Polish laminate stock that I got um, that I had taken and put a little bit of shellac finish on. So I put this on and uh, that took quite a bit of fitting. And when I was done with that, I decided I wanted to throw a metal mag in and just kind of look at it. And um, <clears throat> I went to put a metal mag in the mag well and uh, wouldn't you know it, it, it wouldn't go in like at all. Like it would barely fit um these these uh mags have ammunition in them oh well um but you couldn't even you could stick it in the front would go in but that that would be about it you really couldn't go any further than that so i'm very upset at this point i go in and i grab like 10 different mags i bring them out and I start going through, and basically nothing will fit in this gun. I grab the paratrooper here. This is these are both Romanian Wasser tens. This is a paratrooper, and um, <clears throat> basically the only difference is the front there. Um, and uh, this one's a little better. Uh, some of the mags, my metal mags, will fit in here, but a lot of them won't. And I'm like, ugh. So. I was originally going to take it to my buddy's house and uh, let him deal with it because he has built several AKs and he's milled um, quite a few of these magwells out from single stack to double stack. Um, basically, when these um, Wassers or any import, even uh, the Z-Paps, all that, when they come in uh, to the country, they come in only accepting single stack mags. And the importer has to mill this magwell out here out here and um so it'll accept the double stack mag it's stupid u.s law so anyways so <clears throat> century has been known for extremely loose mag wobble uh which is not a big deal people make it a big deal but it's not um but i've seen lately and ain't happen to my guns is these mag welds are so tight that they won't accept a lot of metal mags and i've seen quite a few videos on youtube with people saying that their wasser is mag picky and it won't take metal mags now i used to think that the polymer mags were thicker well i don't think that's the case anymore after going through this i think these metal mags here uh, are thicker than the uh, steel mags or I'm sorry thicker than the polymer mags at least um, these are thicker than the um, US palm mags that it came with um, these guns would accept the US palm mags however I have these steel reinforced um, US palm mags and uh, these would not fit but yet the non steel reinforced mags would fit fine so I want to show you what I did quick uh, if you're having these issues, um, you know, you probably should just call Century and send it back. But uh, I'm not a huge Century fan. The only reason I bought these guns is because these are imports from Romania. I would never buy a complete Century built gun. I would never buy a parts kit build from Century. I just, they're, well, I'm not, I don't want to go into that. Um, <clears throat> anyways. So let me pull this apart here and let me show you what is going on. So this one, the was the straight up Wasser 10 was worse than the Parrot Trooper. So 
with the paratrooper, I didn't have to, um, I didn't have to, to mess with this mag while it was already milled out. I just had to, um, grind these, um, internal spacers here. These, uh, these little plates that, uh, century, these little plates here that are welded in, uh, a cougar, cougar, um, over in Romania, instead of having the mag dimples in, they weld these little spacers in both sides have them and the paratrooper has them as well but I'm not going to take it apart it's essentially the same thing um so what I had to do with this one was I took a dremel and I just used a sandpaper bit and I just went and I touched the sides here you can see I kind of messed up a little bit there but it isn't a big deal so I went and just kind of opened this up just a little bit on the sides and then I finally was able to get the mag to fit in but it still wouldn't lock. It still would not lock completely. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So, and as you can see, this here, at first I thought it was the uh, mag release, and it wasn't. Because um, I started grinding on it, and I was like, no, nah, that, that doesn't seem right. Um, so, what I did was, I was I, I went inside here, and I was just looking. I inserted, inserted the mag, and I'm trying to figure out what's going on in here. And um, these internal spacers here, which gives you a bit, get a better view from up the upside down. <clears throat> these internal spacers here were way out. It was like that they just welded them in and they didn't do, they didn't bother to, to fit them or nothing. Both of them had the spacers way out. They were not, both of them were just like welded in. So <clears throat> I first, instead of just, grinding on the inside of the um the inside of the receiver because that's really not, not a good idea because there's a lot of little things in there and if you hit them you can really screw your gun up so what i did was as you can see here i i grinded on this mag here and i have another one here i grinded on this one too and then I, I locked them in and then they locked in place and I'm like, okay, so whatever's going on is is at the top part here. Um, as you can see here, when I was trying to figure out, I actually grinded these tabs down just a smidge just to see if that was the issue and it, it wasn't. So once I realized that was the issue, I looked up in here and I started grinding on these spacers here just a little bit of time and then I could finally get the mags to go in and it still would fight me a little bit and you could see that there was there was paint on the the internal tabs you can see the paint flicking off of the mags these are uh, new production uh, Bulgarian mags um, so I was able to grind those down and uh, get them to fit now this one here if you look there's no mag wobble on the in this gun um, I'm as you can see I'm actually moving the whole gun there's zero mag wobble um, and, uh, I, I don't know if you can see that or not on the ejector there. It looks like I, I hit it. It's just some grease. Um, so one of the things that you really need to note if you're going to do this is this shelf right here is called your bullet guide. And if you hit that, your gun may be screwed because if you jack that bullet guide up, it may not feed. So... On um, so I opened up the mag wobble and I messed with the the uh, spacers on the inside of that gun. On this gun, I didn't touch the uh, mag well here, and you can see that there's like no grime marks there. So that that's how it came from Century. The only thing I did on this gun was I just hit those spacers. Um, they were out too far. And you can see on this one here, you can see on this one here, there's quite a bit of mag wobble. And I kind of did, there was a little bit of mag wobble to begin with, but there's a lot more now. And I did that to, for a reason because you, AKs, have to have mag wobble. If they're super tight like that one, it makes them hard to load. So with it having mag wobble and it being a little sloppy, it, all the mags go in super easy. They go in like butter. Um, let's 
see this one here. See, and, and this still doesn't want to complete. I mean, it's locked in, but it doesn't click all the time. Um, I mean, it's in, but... So, th that one's still not 100% on that mag. I think... I have two of these, and I think one of these mags, this it's this one. The other one I have locks in perfect, and you can hear it, but you can, it's not coming out, so it just doesn't click. I don't know why. The other one of these I have with the metal reinforcements clicks. So, um, but yeah, so like I said, if it was me, I, I do this kind of stuff all the time with AKs. A lot of times AKs just need a little bit of fitting in certain places. Um, so I wouldn't send it back to Century. I didn't. This is, I just fixed it myself. Um, and uh, like I said, if, if your AK has mag wobble, it's a good thing. You want mag wobble. You want it to go in. So I forgot to mention that um i did go out and test this both of these and you can see here i'm putting pressure on the magazine uh, i moved it left right forward backwards and i couldn't get it to fail function um and then also here i set the magazine on the ground and uh fired from that and again it just functioned also i wanted to mention that if you decide to do this you need to have a bunch of magazines available to you um, because you may just have an out of spec magazine. So you really need to have like five or six magazines to make sure it is the magazine and not the gun. Anyways, have a good day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.